I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com. In this video, I'll be talking about and reviewing a module called Content Slider. And this is an open source module and it's created and maintained by Will Strobe. So with this module, what you'll be able to do is create effects like the one that we have on .NET website. You see this banner at the top. This is this is using the same the same jQuery, the same plugin to cycle through different images at the top. And so this this module will come exactly to address that to be able to let's say add a bunch of images, a bunch of banners, a bunch of slides, and then rotate from one to the next one, and each one will give you the chance to, to have a link from it that will link to another page or another website. So uh, this, this module basically encapsulates uh, a jQuery plugin called jQuery Cycle Plugin. All those links that you guys are seeing, I'm going to post in the video, so it's all there for you. So again, this module is really encapsulating, it's really embedding all, I would call it the complexity of uh, jQuery Cycle plugin behind it. So you don't have to deal with jQuery directly. You can just use the module settings to make different transitions, different, you know, different uh, looks for, for the slider. Okay, so let's get down to it. I have I have set up a site here, and this is a DNN DNN six zero one. I'm just gonna log in. The module is already installed. Nothing special about install the module. There is a, in in the video post. There is a link to the to where you can find the module download as well. So again, here's a site DNN six zero one. I'm just going to log into the back end as admin, as admin user. My admin user is called DNN Hero. So, okay. So now I'm going to just create a new page so you can put this module on. So let's just go here to pages. Add again that's DNN6, so I'm still getting used to the new way of doing things here. So let's call it slider and let's put it right at the end. Permissions all users and let's click add page. Okay, so we have the new page here. I'm just gonna get rid of the HTML that is there. Again, module is already installed. Nothing special about installing the module, just a regular module. So if I go to modules, select all categories and click the drop down, I will be able to find content slider. So it's right here. I'm just not going to put title. I'm just going to add it to the page. Okay. It has been added, but nothing has been set yet. So I'm just, so here's what I'm going to try to do today. Just by, for the sake of testing example, I have downloaded some banners here, some, some slides here from DNN's website, and I'm just going to put them there in, the, in our new module instance, and we're going to make it rotate from one to the next one. Okay, so I'm just going to go there, I'm going to click, I'm going to go to manage, add slider, under add slider, I'm going to call this Again, call it anything you want. I'm just going to call slide one. Now you can set a start date and end date. You can specify if the, the slider image is a URL. So you can, you can make it an external image from your website. You can upload, you can get us uh, an image from your system already. So I'm just going to click file and I'm going to upload. I'm just going to upload new. I'm going to click browse and from here I'm just going to go to the folder that I have the images. So I have here first image. I'm just going to click upload selected file. 
file is getting uploaded. Okay, it's right there. And now the, the next option is called slider link. So I can link the, when, when someone is clicking that image, we can link that to an external URL. So we can specify the URL right here, or we can make it uh, an internal link to another page within the website. So let's, just for the sake of example, let's link this back to .NET Nook com and I have the option to open the link in a new browser window or in the same browser window. I'm just gonna leave that uh, checked so it will open in a different browser window. I'm just gonna update. And now we have the first image here coming up. Again, there's just one image, so right now there's no transition yet. Now let's add another one so we can get some transition in here. So let's add slider. Let's call this slide two. Again, you can put start date and date of how uh, the time frame that this image will show up in the rotator in the slider. Okay, um, slider image. Let's upload another one. Let's click upload new file. Let's select a new image. Let's select the second one here. Upload selected file. And so the file is uploaded. Now, instead of pointing to an external URL, let's select page. So you can choose one internal page of our own website to link that to. So let's uh, let's say that we're gonna link this to, I don't know, about us. And let's leave this unchecked so it will load in the same window. Okay, so let's click update. Now, now we should be able to see some rotation here. Let's just wait a little bit, you see? It's transitioning. If I, I if I move the mouse over, I will see that this is slide one. If I move the mouse over, I'll see slide two. At the bottom here, I can see the URL that it, it is linking to. As you can see, .NET Nook, the first one. The second one, internal page within the website. If I click, it will move to that page. If I click the one that is linking to .NET Nook, it will open in a different browser window. So it's basically doing what we needed to do. And again, we can put as many slides as we want here. Now, let's have a quick look at the settings and how how we can configure certain things like, like speed, like transition effects. So if you go back to manage and click on slider options, there are a lot of options here. And actually, there's a big warning at the top that if you do something wrong here, it will break the module. So uh, just be careful here. The other thing that I realized is that we are in the, in the initial versions of this module. So I've tried before a little bit this module. I tried to change a few things. It, did, it didn't work with everything here. So again, it's doing the basic stuff, but when it comes down to the more advanced stuff, maybe not everything here will be working 100% yet. Okay, again, we are in the early versions of this module, but we have here width, height of the area right now it's set up by default no width height as auto transition speeds you can you can select pause slide and hover if you want there's a checkbox here again some of those options are not getting saved yet for some reason again maybe it's just because we are in the initial stages of that module but again lots of options here for you so content slider settings slider appearance, lots of CSS classes that you can play around, even pager settings. I have not played with that yet, but uh, I'm assuming that you can you can uh, have some sort of pager that will jump from one slider to the other one just by clicking on them. There are some behavior changes that we can we can change here. Transition settings, that's what, that was something that I was interested. Uh, as you can see here, transition effect, it's set to fade. I've tried to change this and actually it says here, it can be fade, scroll up, shuffle. I've tried to change that, it didn't save. Again, maybe a minor bug here. I'm not gonna try that, but again, lots of interesting options here. Even if you are more advanced and you know JavaScript, you may want to play around with different events, different JavaScript events that you can call after transition, before transition, at the end of the slideshow. Again, 
So again, lots of options here. And basically what you see here is the jQuery cycle plugin being turned into a module and all those options are really playing around behind the scenes are playing around with the jQuery cycle plugin. Okay. So it works well, it looks nice. I think that if you need a basic slider, you can definitely count on this. And I'll actually, I'll be trying that in some uh, live websites very shortly. By the way, if you want to give it a try on this module, you can just come to try.netnook.com. It's a little new site that we have put up, put out there. You can create your test site. This module is installed in try.netnook.com. And if you create your own site, you'll be able to give it a try to test it out and to see if it would be a good fit for what you may want. Okay. So that's it for now. That's a quick review of content slider open source module by, by Will Stroh for .NET Look. Okay. Thank you very much and bye for now.